This is the CRO Modified Division here for round 7 of 17 in 2009. The Delaware Lottery Games Modified Showdown for the Dover International Speedway. Gordon Moss captures his first ever Red Robin Pole Award in the number 49 Bolden, which of course carries the world's favorite animated family, the Simpsons, on the deck lid. Green flag drops and Moss gets a nice jump up the field going into turn number one. Azuma Kazayama will claim second as they hit the corner. Kazayama started third today, clearly his best starting position since he won pole for the season opener at New Hampshire. Top two hit the back straightaway, and as they go into three, Kazayama's going to have a peek to the inside, but Moss has the better entry going into the corner, and the English born New Yorker rockets away from the 61, and he'll lead a lap for the first time in his CRL career coming off turn four. Top three at the end of lap one, Moss, Kazayama, and C.J. Long, who started second. Same lap, Kazayama's gonna get to make his run. He peeks down to the inside of Moss going into turn three, and as they hit turn four, the 61 is actually gonna poke the nose out in front, but Moss gathers all his momentum back in, and he's gonna lead lap two at the line by one one hundredth of a second. However, Kazayama will keep persisting. He'll dig in those spurs, and these two will battle for the next couple of laps, but Something grows larger in their rearview mirror. You're going to see it in this camera shot coming off of two. It's Carter Davids in the 87 as he begins to chase down the pair. End of lap four. Davids is caught up with Moss and Kazayama. Moss is going to lead lap four coming off the final corner, but it's the last lap he leads today as uh, Kazayama's persistence pays off. He blasts around the 49 going into turn one. And now Moss has to deal with the 87 of Davids. Davids, of course, came into today's race tied for second in points with Tina Lee, although they both have the same number of points as Alan Musico. Musico is considered the leader because he has two wins to their one. Off turn four, Kazayama is going to lead a lap for the first time this season, but it's going to be the only lap he leads all day. You see Davids already peeking down on the inside. They hit turn one, and Davids is going to blast around the 61. Carter Davids is leading for the first time since his win in Nashville three races ago. And the 87, clearly the faster of the three as he begins to pull away. This will be the second lead change in the first six laps of the race as Davids comes off turn four to make it official at the line. Meanwhile, Kurt Shelton is running his second race in an unsponsored car. He qualified 19th and said he was going to start in park, but when the green flag dropped, he actually started moving up through the field. Here he is on lap eight, passing Axel Anderson for ninth spot. Uh, Shelton has not scored since the ra uh, third round of the season at Richmond, but today he's looking good to do it. Looking good to score some more points. Lap 12, Nathan Ferguson, who started 15th at the four car, passes Azuma Kazayama for second, and this is pivotal because here's Davids completing the 12th lap at the line, but as he goes into turn one, his engine shuts off! and he pulls down onto the apron and here comes Ferguson to take the lead away. Davids would crawl back to the pits, he'd lose three laps and drop back to last place. Lap 15, here's CJ Long who started second and he's dropped all the way back to 19th so clearly the 32 not so fast in race traffic. Long has scored only four points this year so you have to wonder when are rumors going to start spreading about him? Lap 16, Jay Janarin in the 94 is 18th. Not anymore. He is a flat tire and pulls down onto the apron. I believe Janarin has not scored a point since his second place finish behind Davids at Nashville. Anyway, Janarin would make the slow crawl back to the pits. He would lose three laps and drop to last behind Mr. Carter Davids. It's not a question of if Mike Falls is going to win this year, but when. Here's the Londoner who started 18th today, passing Azuma Kazayama for second on lap 18. So Falls having a great run. One guy whose job is on the line, John Hawks, the 16-year-old, has scored only 11 points this year. All of them at Nashville where he won the pole and finished fifth. But the 16-year-old qualified 24th for today's race. And here we are, just about 20 laps in. And, well, he's only in 22nd So the team wanting him to perform better, but unfortunately, he's not doing it. Hawks could have actually won that race in Nashville had he not had so much trouble with lap traffic and then spun himself out later on. Lap 20, Carter Davids falls four laps down as he 
Nathan Ferguson makes the pass going into turn number three. One guy who will be giving up his ride after this race, at least temporarily, is that guy, Carter Lice. And the 0-1, Lice qualified ninth for today's race, easily his best starting position of the year so far. And at this point in the race, he's still, well, in the points. Young Alex Neshmery will be taking the car over at the next round at uh, Grand Detour. He'll also be driving it in rounds 11 and 12 in Mostport and Edmonton. Lice will drive the car in between the races at Grand Detour and Mosport in Iowa and Charlotte. Neshmery will become the fourth different driver of the 0-1 this year after Jeff Lautenschlager, his niece Kayla Beisel, and Lice himself. Lap 23, Randy Robinson is a peak to the inside of Craig Mummert, but as they go into turn one, Robinson has a flat tire, and he's not too keen to get off the racing line until Chris Winter comes up behind him and shoves him down into the apron, and this creates a bit of a traffic jam, and you see Nathan Ferguson of the four car blast right through like they're, like they're nothing. Robinson would make the slower crawl back to the pits, and like Janner and Davids before him, he would lose three laps. Tina Lee started today's race in 8th. She won last week in British Columbia, but at this point she's in 23rd, so no back-to-back -back wins for her this week. Here we are at halfway. Nathan Ferguson coming to the line to complete the 30th of 60 laps today, and at this point we're still caution-free. That's a surprise it's over, wouldn't you think? Lap 37. Here's Montana Moseas, the 54-year-old Brazilian, passing uh, Gordon Moss for 10th. Mosea started 20th today. He hasn't scored since Bristol, but he's got one of the best cars in the field, and he's in the points now. Six laps later, Gary DeSouza is going to pass his teammate Gordon Moss for 12th and knock the pole sitter out of the points. So the number 44, Heineken Bolden, making some moves. DeSouza has scored points in only one race this year. That was in Bristol. Here's uh, Alan Musico qualified 16th for today's race. At this point, he's only in 10th spot. He has the point lead coming into today. He had a promising start to the weekend. He was fastest in practice, but with 15 laps to go, he's looking to gain only three points. Lap 49, Kurt Shelton. He's been third pretty much all day, but here he is going down to the inside of Falls, going into turn number three. And as they come off turn four, Kurt Shelton is going to be second. Second, this guy intended to start and park today, but he started moving up to the field, and with 11 laps to go, he's in second place. What a wonderful story for Kurt Shelton, and what a wonderful display of his driving skill. Meanwhile, lap 49, that same lap, here's Ferguson lapping our pole sitter today. Randy Robinson hanging right behind the four car. Eight laps to go, and DeSouza in 12th spot is going to get lapped. This is the second time in the last three races that somebody in the points has fallen a lap behind the leader. Uh, only the top seven finished on the same lap at Bristol, so that meant five cars were five laps be uh, were one lap behind the leader, Alan Musco. Meanwhile, here's Ferguson on the final lap. He leads the final 48 laps. He's going to come off of turn four and win the Delaware Lottery Games modified showdown at Dover to claim his first ever CRL Modified Division victory. And here comes Kurt Shelton to the seven to claim second place. What a wonderful day for Kurt Shelton. What a great call not to start in park. Here is DeSouza coming off turn four to finish 12th and claim the final points paying position. And now here is Montana Moseas coming off turn four to finish sixth, easily the best finish of his entire career. The man doing the donuts today is Nathan Ferguson of the four car. And hey, for once, his sponsor, NBC, finishes first at something. Indeed. But clearly, his victory will be overshadowed by Kurt Shelton's amazing drive from 19th to 2nd and making the right decision not to start in park. Ferguson gains two bonus points today, one for leading the most laps and one for having the fastest lap. Take a look at the race results. Ferguson will walk out of here with 22 points in his pocket. Shelton finishing second. Mike Falls finishes third. Landon Rohde finishes fourth. Mike Lee had a real nice quiet run to finish fifth place. Nice job, Mike. Mosea is coming across in sixth. Azuma Kaseyama uh, finishes seventh, matching his finish from New Hampshire. Sean Percy keeps uh, keeps consistent. He finishes eighth today. J.F. Moreau scores points for the first time since Watkins Glen. 
Alan Musco finishes 10th. Jeremiah Brooks, a nice quiet run in 11th. And Gary DeSouza finishes in 12th spot. Top 15 in points now. Nathan Ferguson is the new point leader. How do you like that? He walks out of here with 54 points in his pocket. Alan Musico, two points behind. Landon Rohde, despite being suspended for one race, is just three points back. Carter Davids, Tina Lee, and Reed Weber, none of them scored points today, so their points total coming in, and their point total coming out. Mike Falls is now seventh. Chris Winter drops back to eighth. Sean Percy is now ninth. Any of the top nine could be leading the points after the next round at Grand Detour. Robert Klesel is tenth. Axel Anderson has really stumbled since he won at uh, Watkins Glen. He's now eleventh. Jeff Moreau moves up to twelfth. Rowan Hayden and Randy Robinson do not score today. They fall back to 13th and 14th, respectively. And Kurt Shelton is amazing driver today, as in 15th in points. Next up, we head to the land of Lincoln, Grand Detour for the Stanley Battle of Southern Illinois. 